Hi, boys and girls. This is Chapter 11, Lesson 6, Elapsed Time. Um, our learning intention is I am learning to determine lapse time so that I can know how much time things take. So you often want to know how long it's going to be until dinner or how long it's going to take to get to a certain destination or if you um, need to get somewhere by a certain time what time you need to leave and how much time you have to get ready and whatnot. So elapsed time is extremely important um, to learn. So we're getting started with that now. So the pages that we're doing are pages 665, 666, and 667. So let's get this started. <clears throat> okay, so when you're talking about... Um, elapsed time, you're talking about time intervals. So to, blah, blah, to determine a time interval, you find the amount of time that passes from the start of an activity to the end of an activity. So let's look at this example. Evan's mother put biscuits in the oven at 5.10 p.m. She took them out of the oven at 5.27 p.m. How much time passed from the time she put the biscuits in the oven to the time she took them out? So first you have to find the start time. So the start time, it says in our story, in our word problem, that the start time is 5, 10 p.m. So we're gonna write that on our line here, 5, 10, and they already wrote the p.m. so we don't need to do that. Then you find the end time. So the end time is 527. That's when she's going to take them out of the oven. So we'll write that on this line. The end time is 527. Now remember in the last lesson I told you it's really important to, um, to know how to use an analog clock because doing elapsed time, especially to the minute, is much easier with an analog clock than it is with a digital clock. The digital clock you can subtract but it becomes a problem once the hours change because then you have to like borrow 60, you can't borrow 10 and it's just craziness. So really knowing your analog clock is really important. So you can see here that they have the, um, they started out the minutes. Let me highlight it for you. This hand right here shows the minutes that you started at. So the big hand started at the two and move down two ticks past the five. So we want to know how far the blue hand went, the long hand went. Remember, long hand is minutes. Minute is the longer word. Minutes have to be accurate, so the hand has to touch the outside of the clock. That's why it's a long hand. So um, anyway, so you start with the biggest um, amount that you can possibly count skip count by. We don't want to do hours because it doesn't change any hours. It goes it's still within five o'clock. So we're just going to use five minutes until we have to switch count to ones. So let's go ahead and skip count here where they did. So the big hand started at the two. So we go to the three, that's five minutes. Go to the four, that's 10. Go to the five, that's 15. And then there's two more ticks, 16, 17. So it was 17 minutes that the biscuits were in the oven. So here's one way you can do it on um, a number line. And so they started the number line at 510 and they um, did a hop for five minutes to 515, did another hop to 520, did another hop to 525, and then you just need two little hops or just add the two to it. So 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. So 17 minutes have passed from 5, 10 to 5, 27. I will tell you when biscuits are in the oven though, that is a long 17 minutes because you're smelling them the whole time. So the interval is 17 minutes. Okay, let's look at the next page, page 666. We're going to look at another um, elapsed time problem. So the clock shows the time that June's choir practice ended in the afternoon. 
If it was 135, or excuse me, <laughs> I don't know how to read. If it was 135 minutes long, what time did it start? So now we're going back in time. So we need to, rather than adding minutes, we're going to be subtracting minutes. So we're going to count back 135 minutes from 3.15 p.m. So we're going to use the number line to do this. So um, we know that it ended at 3.15, okay? Um, oh, here's the clock. I'm like, where'd they get 3.15 from? Okay, this is what time June's choir practice ended, was on this red clock right here. Okay, the clock shows the time June's choir practice ended. So it ended at 3.15. We don't know what time it started at. That's our unknown. Now they show it on here, but because they've already figured it out for you. So because there's 15 minutes from 3.15 to 3 o'clock, they jumped back 15 minutes to 3 o'clock. They subtracted 15 minutes to 3 o'clock. And then they jumped back two more hours. So you go back another, you go back an hour, that's two o'clock, one more hour, okay, and that's one o'clock. So the beginning time was one o'clock. So the time interval for choir practice, they told us in the story, was 135 minutes. Or, two hours and 15 minutes. Now, the way that we know that is because we went back in time. We had two hours here, plus we had 15 minutes. The other way to do it is you have, if 60 minutes, sorry, equals one hour, HR is the abbreviation for hour, then 120 minutes is two hours. Okay, so 120 from 135 leaves you 15 minutes left, so it's 2 hours and 15 minutes. So 135 minutes before 3.15 p.m. is 1 o'clock p.m. Choir practice started at 1 o'clock p.m. Okay, that one's a harder one to do. I wouldn't have picked that one for a guided for an example. But anyway, okay, so they want to find the time interval of a movie and to use the number line. So your start time is 305. You can see on the clock there. It is 305. The the hour hand, the short hand is just past the three. And the big hand is at the one, so we know that's five minutes. You can't just put a five after the colon, you have to have two digits. So you have to put a zero in the tens place. So 305, 305. And it ended, let's see what time it ended. The little hand is just past the four. Oh, this is guided practice. I should be letting you guys do this. Okay. Anyway, it's just past the four. Okay. So it's the hour of four. Now, skip count by fives from 12 to seven to figure out how many minutes it is. Pause the video. Okay, so I'm going to skip count from 12 to 7, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So it's 435, and you can see that down here, 435 and 305. Okay, so we're going to start skip counting with the biggest chunk that we have. So we, um, they show the one-hour jump first from 305 to 405. And then a 30 minute jump, because you're out of hours, so now you just have 30 minutes left. So then a 30 minute jump to get to 435. Okay, so fill in the, oh gosh, this is like really hard. Let's just do it together. Okay, so the first hour is 60 minutes. So, whoops, I think I do that every single lesson. 60 minutes plus 30 minutes equals 90 minutes or one hour and 30 minutes. We're going to do some more lessons on this so that you guys can get a little bit better at it. Okay, let's look at the um, independent practice. Okay, 
The following are times of baseball games. Find the time interval for each. Okay, so they have the two clocks there, and then they have the number line. So they started the number line. Your start time is 1.15. So they started it at 1.15. It ends at 3.07. Okay. So you start with the biggest chunk you have to get as close as you can to the end time. So 1.15 plus 1 hour is 2.15. Okay, remember that 1 hour is 60 minutes. You need that for your equation here. Okay, we're still not close enough to, well, we're getting pretty close. If we go a whole hour, we're going to be to 3.15. So we don't want to go a whole hour. So they chose 45 minutes because 45 minutes will get you to the o'clock. That's the problem with using digital clocks. So if you look at 2.15, um, let's just do the minute hand part because the hour isn't really that important at the moment. So that's where, this is 15 minutes right here at the 3. So if you want to get to the o'clock, you have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, oops, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're going to skip count from 3 to 12. Oops. Okay, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So from the 3 to the 12 is 45 minutes. So that's why they chose this 45 minutes here. So it takes you from 2.15 to 3 o'clock. Now you have seven more minutes that you have to add in. Okay, so what I want you to do is to fill in the number of minutes that I circled. I circled them in different colors. So you have the blue, 60 minutes, you have the 45 minutes, then you have the seven for the total number of minutes. So go ahead and fill that out and then um, unpause the video and find out if you wrote the answer correctly. Okay, so let's do, so the first minutes were 60, the second minutes were 45, the last set of minutes were seven. So we've got to add this up. It's easier if we write it down stacked. So 60 plus 45 plus seven. Make sure you line up your ones places. So you have zero, five, and seven all in the ones place. They have to line up in the ones column. Okay, seven plus two, um, or excuse me, seven plus five plus zero is 12. We're gonna put two in the ones place. We carry the 10 from the 12 over to the tens place. Six plus four is 10 and one more is 11. So we have 112 minutes. So the baseball game will last 112 minutes or did last. Guess you can't know that ahead of time. Okay, so let's figure out the minutes for the start time and the end time on number three. Um, so, okay, let's do it this way. So write down the time on the first clock and pause the video. Okay. The first clock, the little hand is just past the 12. I'm going to switch colors altogether. It's getting chaotic with all this red. I'm going to go to green. Okay. So it is 12. I'm going to write it up here. 12. And then you're five or you're at the three past the hour. So five, 10, 15 minutes. This one's 12, 15. Okay. Figure out the time for the second clock. Okay. So it's past the two. It's not to the three yet. So it's past the two. And then how many minutes past the hour? So we skip count five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Let me make this nice and big so I can get my dots in there. 26, 27, 28. So it's 228. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to make a little number line down here. 
It's called an open number line. That means that you um, put a beginning time, you put an end time, you're not going all the way to zero or to any particular number. Okay, so our start time is 1215. And our end time is 228. We'll do this part together. So our biggest time that we can use is one hour. So I'm going to go ahead and do one jump that's one hour. I'm just going to write one hour in here, one HR. You should be doing exactly what I'm doing. Okay, at one hour, it is 1.15. Okay, if I do another hour, it's 2.15. I can still squeeze in my second hour in here. So I have one hour here. So that's 2.15. Now I just need to know how many minutes from 15 to 28. So I can actually use my clocks here to help me do that. So let me switch colors for new skip counting. Let me use orange. So I'm going to start because this blue hand was at the three. I'm going to start at the three, five, 10, and then three more. 10 plus three is 13. So this amount of minutes in here that are left are 13 minutes. You can also um, do 28 minus 15. That'll leave you a 13. Okay. So now they want to know how many minutes that is altogether. I don't understand why they do that because we don't ever say, oh, we're going to leave in 435 minutes. <laughs> so anyway, so we know an hour is 60 minutes. Another hour is 60 minutes. And then the extra 13 minutes. Okay. We have our, our one column lined up. Zero plus zero plus three is three. Six plus six is 12. And one more is 13. So it's 133 minutes. Okay. So let's look at the next one. Start time and end time, 120 to 505. Okay. So we're going to draw a number line. Oops. Make a straight line. Put your beginning time and your end time, 120 and 505. Okay, we're going to do one hour. So from 120 and another hour is 220. You'll do one more hour. That's 320. We're going to do another hour, which is 420. If I go another hour, that's going to be um 520 so that's too much so i need to know how many minutes from 20 in one hour to the five minutes of the next hour and we have no room to draw a clock okay so let's just um so we know there's 60 minutes in an hour so 60 minus 20 if we subtract these minutes it's 40 and then we need five more minutes so that's 45 so this is 45 minutes i'm just going to give this to you because I don't like this page. This is not how I teach it in face-to-face -face school. But since I don't have the clock app available to me, this is how we're stuck doing it. So, okay, so we have three hours. So we know that each hour is 60 minutes, 60, 60, 60, plus 45. Okay, zero, zero, zero plus five is five. Then we have 12. We have 12 there. 4 and 6 is 10. 10 and 12 is 22. So it's 225 minutes. If you just copy everything I have, you're, you're golden. Okay, write the time, then draw the hands on the clock to show the time interval. Oh my goodness getting a headache from trying to do this. Okay. So we're going to write the time. Then we're going to draw the hands on the clock to show the time interval. Okay. So um, write down the time for number five. Be careful on the green clock. You're going to think it's an hour that it's not. So make sure it's not the hour that it's almost to, but it's the hour that it's already passed. Pause the video. Write your time. Okay, so 
A lot of students are going to say it's the hour of 12, but it's not. It's right before the 12. It's still in the 11th hour. That's because the blue hand is so close to the 12. Okay. So this is 11. And then we need to skip count by fives to find out how many minutes it is there at the 11. Okay. So let's skip count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 11, 55. Okay, now we want to know what time it was 35 minutes earlier. Okay, so if the hand is at the, if the minute hand's at the 55, so we're going to start here at the 11. Okay, we're going to skip count backwards 35. Okay, ready? Because we're going earlier, we're going back in time. Going back in time. Okay, ready? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So your big hand is going to be at the 35. Okay, just draw one straight line from the dot to the 4. Okay, you're still in the same hour because you haven't gone past the 12 yet. So it's still in the hour of 11. So now we need to figure out what time that is. So it is 11. And then let's do the uh, skip counting up to the 4. 5, 10, 15, 20. So it's 11.20 a.m. That's 35 minutes earlier. Okay, now we're going to do 36 minutes later on the next clock. So figure out the time for number 6 on the green clock and write it on the line. Pause the video. Okay, so the shorthand is between the 10 and the 11, so that means it just passed the 10, so it's the hour of 10. I'm going to keep my color coding consistent here. It's a green clock, so it's the green time. So it is 10. That's not a 6, it's a 0. Okay, and then I'm writing with my hand at a weird angle, so that's why it came out looking like that. So that's a 0, not a 6. Okay, let's skip count by 5s from 12. Ready? 5, 10. 15, 20, 25, 30. So it is 10, 30. <clears throat> now we want to go 36 minutes later. So I'm going to go ahead and make a red dot. Actually, I'll make a green dot so you can see it. At the 30 minute mark. Okay, that's where our old hand was. Our hand on the first clock on the six. We're going to go forward in time, 36 minutes. So let's skip count by fives. Ready? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, oops, I jumped over it a little bit, plus one more is 36, there, and then that's the 36. So it's one tick past the one. So let's find out what that is. So I have five minutes here, plus one tick, five and one is six. So the big hand goes to the just one tick past the one. Do the best you can to get it right on the money. Okay. Now, our little hand was at the 10, but we passed the 12. So we need to put our little hand by the 11 because it's now 11. So it's 11. Oh, 06. Okay, when your numbers are 9 or less on your clock, it needs to be 06 or 07 or 08 or 09. Okay, just do that along with the, um, the video. You'll get credit for having done it. I'm just going to put all three pages together in one assignment, copy the whole thing. If you've done the whole thing, number lines, all the little hops, do everything that I did, you will get credit for it. And we're going to do some other, um, other ones that aren't quite as weird and awkward as this one. Okay, so there you go. There was your introduction into elapsed time. I hope you're not thoroughly confused.